Good evening, good evening. So, yeah, I'm back again with another tutorial tonight. And um, just as I promised uh, earlier on this morning, um, all right, let me just put this down. My name is Joel. I'm a producer, music director, photographer, and a videographer. And obviously, I'm the founder of eMasters. So, yeah, this period of um, lockdown has been... Um, tremendous blessings because um, I got to familiarize myself with uh, my services and uh, got to improve a couple of stuff uh, obviously the production and the post-production so in terms of uh, talking about post-production today I'll do uh, a simple tutorial on how I do uh, master the bit not, not, not the vocals but just the bit using uh, waves plugins so if you follow me, you can use it. You can use it on any um, type of bit you do have at home. Uh, if you're currently using uh, any door, I'm I'm talking about um, whether you're using Cubase or Logic or Fruit, uh, FL Studio or the upper hands one. You know you can still use the same workflow I'm going to use today. Um, but um, bear in mind to do. In order for you to accomplish the same result I'm going to produce, you need to have Waves plugins. Uh, I mean, some of them, you can find them online. Uh, you can purchase them online. But I would advise you, if you intending to be a producer or, you know, taking your production level to a next level, uh, it's best to upgrade your plugins. Um, obviously the ultimate questions everyone asks is uh what is best to use analogs over plugins or plugins over analogs you know this is a question most producer will answer personally depending on the you know the type of work they're doing you when it comes to um mastering beats or making beats I like to use plugins, you know, because they're straight out of the box and they give you the results uh, that you need. But you see that sometimes other producers they like to you to stick to stick with analogs, you know, big discs and, and stuff like that. Um, it's good, it's good, but looking at the trend of technology, things are changing in the last couple of years uh, tremendously. You know, um, what we have today is not um, a competition between the two of them, but it's more like supplementing, like um, complementing one another. You know, there's certain things um, analogs cannot produce, cannot do, and there's certain results you get straight out of plugins. And using like um, wave plugins, believe me, you get good results. Um, Tonight I'll be using um, a variety of plugins. Some, some, sometimes you see me going into Artoria using um, uh, the preamps from Artoria because ju just because of the simple fact that I love them. It's my personal choice. It's my nothing to do with which one is better. Um, but for vocals. It's good to have an extra gear. It's 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 good to have your voice, uh, your signal going into a machine, going into the the that 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 box. Um, if you're expecting, um, let's say I'm gonna explain to you in an easy way that you can understand. If you're expecting to to have some sort of a vintage voice or some classic sound. Best use the analogs because they're gonna use, they're gonna give you that uh, tube preamps kind of uh, coloring to your sound to your vocals. But if you uh, type of a digital producer, yeah, you can you can go away with plugins, just plugins. But use both of them. I do use. I'm currently using the person is the, the channel strips. It comes with the gate. Uh, doesn't have a DSR comes with the gate compressor and obviously the eq so before the sun goes into my door it's been processed by two main things my compressor and my eq i want to get um 
rid of the the, the noise you know the, the low noise before the sun goes into my door so obviously i'm using um the audion 44 interface which is absolutely brilliant it's very discreet and um on uh, on, on on um quarter of a level you already gain that crispy sound so yeah um what else was i gonna say yeah, for those that don't know me, uh, my name is Joel, and um, yeah, I've been producing music for a while now, but I've been doing other stuff. I'm, mainly, I'm a photographer, you know, and uh, I've been a producer for a while, so I was concentrating lately on my photography uh, business side, so um, I decided to, you know, go back onto my music and upgrade it a little bit so welcome to my studio take a look grab a seat if you've got a glass of water i'm gonna share my screen with y'all so you can see what i'm talking about oh, <clears throat> what what's that yeah i want to use that Do you want to use the audio device Ecom Live? Blah, blah, blah. What? Already did. I'll tell you this. the older device has been removed now for what reason I don't know so I do apologize for that um, I don't know why but uh, yeah I just use my audio 44 goodness me Yeah, I've got it on my Audion 44. Yeah, so we're going to change this bit and you're going to see the result at the end of it. You know, I can share it with you if you like. So, yeah. It's a French bit, you know. Um, Lately, I've been working with gospel artists mainly, so it's um, a gospel bit, you know. And um, if I remember, the guy was singing to it. Um, I know. Je choisis Jésus. Oh, oh. Voilà la raison. Je choisis Jésus. Voilà la raison. Je choisis Jésus. Voilà la raison. Je choisis Jésus.
nine ten minutes. Yeah, so so far you can see you can tell um, the plugins that I use to master my beats to master my sounds are just four of them. Obviously, before you need to get your pass frequencies. That is to help you monitor the sound, whether it's picking, and obviously it's going to help you when you kind of um, uh, export the, the final product. Yeah, let's say, for example, you want to export it to for you know commercial use. You want to export it for v, uh, Vimeo, for YouTube, and stuff like that. Each like each software has its own uh, what do you say requirements. So. Uh, usually for YouTube purposes I like to keep my own on minus like 17 19 just because when it's going to, for compression uh, for YouTube compression when YouTube takes my product and compresses again so I don't lose um, some of my um, you know I don't lose quality you see I don't lose much on, on, on the quality of my sound uh, so it's very important like to obviously go with, with the requirements of the platform you are gonna put your product on if you are gonna uh, put your nine out of ten your son your, your, your song is gonna go for YouTube you know but Spotify's iTunes and other platforms are there they do have their own uh, compressions so be careful with that one always make sure that uh, you read the compressions of the software before you send your song your your bit your sound or whatever you do so uh past frequencies from wave is going to help you to do that it's going to help you to maintain that balance and obviously uh you know for my eqs i like to use the v the v series you know they're really straight on point for example i'm gonna show you let me let me show you so you see exactly what i'm talking about So, yeah, if you can just stay with audience, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. Yeah, so, please be patient with me.
yeah so folks do let me know what you think so yeah that's how um i mastered my beat and as you can see the results are pretty much good i've got a good bass good 808 um the snares the kicks you can hear everything is compressed tubish colorful you can send it straight and yeah so you know i'm not a singer um, i'm a music director i know how to direct music i don't know how to sing so yeah feel free if you're um you're an artist you want to record and you don't have a studio or you don't have where to find beats or you don't know how to start your music career contact me i'm sure my details are there in the box we can work something out um i do have um some experience in these things and uh, believe me you in the right place yeah whether it's gospel um pop reggae uh church um you know clubbings or whatever whatever is your music it doesn't matter you know um i like to work with a variety of, of artists so yeah there you go my half an hour is pretty much coming to the end before that i just want to Thank you for watching and tuning to eMasters24. Show your love, show your support, uh, share the link around. Contact me if you've got any questions at all. Your boy Jay, Joel. Stay blessed, stay safe. Je choisis Jésus, wow, 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 Peace.